Cancer, welcome to your new moon in Virgo reading. And let's start off with a general energy. You've got two cards. Destiny, love it. Aries got that. Fantastic card. And choice. Hey, it's a wild card there. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. You know what? This is, um, you know, with the wild card, uh, the choice card, this is about things being in your hands, which I really love it. Um, and you going after something, okay? You're going to have opportunities and options is what I'm hearing out of that card. And I am also getting that there's something, you know, this is like being dropped from the heavens for you, really good stuff. Um, the new moon in Virgo is giving you, um, all of us collectively new opportunities to get something straight in our lives. And so I see a lot of choices and options and opportunities um, getting dropped from the heavens for you. Um, really actually pretty lovely. Uh, some of the other signs, uh, not, not so fortunate. So count yourself blessed on that note, Cancer. I do see this uh, lunar energy hitting your third house having to do with communications, siblings, neighbors, your local community. And it's also, you know, at a time, I, I don't know why I'm getting some kind of spiritual I with a dove there, that Holy Spirit, right? And so there is something possibly with spirit really dropping some kind of download about uh, intense changes that you've been through, possibly involving a Scorpio, okay? Uh, some kind of death rebirth cycle. Some of you I might have to do with kind of eighth house stuff, uh, debt, taxes, shared resources, other people's money. Um, usually don't read that card in that way, but I'm getting that for you intuitively, okay? So there's something going on with, um, for some of you, it might be legalities, okay? Again, I'm being brought back to taxes or um, maybe inheritances or something like that. Um, other people's money or money owed to other people, uh, something to that effect, okay, is getting <clears throat> illuminated, highlighted during this time, and... Yeah, you have a lot of options and opportunities, okay? You got a lot of positive new beginnings here. But let's see what we have for you. Cancer in a five card spread. Oh my God, what are the chances? Look at that. Oh, see, this is a positive change. I mean, this is destiny upon destiny. Major Arcana, spirit stepping in, changing things in your favor. Um, some of you money opportunities, I'm going to say that. Okay, others of you, this might be the return of an ex or, you know, circling back around, round and round karmic issues of having to revisit, okay, particularly with all the retrograde energy that we are in, having to re, and I'm getting something like a scrubbing, 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 okay, um, but not in an internet type of way where you're removing information off the internet, right? You're scrubbing data, removing it, hiding stuff. No, no, no. It's a deep down, like I'm going back to that death card of we got to get down and dirty and clean this thing out, okay? Um, <clears throat> we've got the main issue here is a page of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, possibly. Uh, but for others of you, you know, this is simply about the communications, which I really say highlighted with the lunar and solar energy, that um, there is some kind of creative idea or opportunity coming in for you. Um, it might be like a something, some kind of inquiry about uh, work or uh, work opportunities for some of you. But for others of you, um, I, I see that, um, there's, there's a lot of uh, thinking about it. In the past, it looks like there's a masculine here, Aries possibly, a boss also might be relevant that is trying to like bring about some kind of order in a situation. The sign's been showing up a lot today so far. In the future, maybe some delays, some misunderstandings, miscommunication, so look out for that. We continue to remain in a lot of retrograde energy. So although things are, you know, you, you got options and opportunities opening up for you and new beginnings, things might not progress as quickly as you want or expect, okay? Also beware 
of not really having a vision for where things are going at this time. Like it, it opens up for you are thinking about where could this go, but you don't really see where it's going at this point. And um, yes, there might be some opt obstacles with all the uh, retrograde energy that you're going to have to work through, even though you've, you've got a lot of op opportunities and options. There's that cup again. For some of you, this is um, not only spiritual growth, this is maybe new love, okay, healing. I love it. But in the outcome, holy crap, why? We got to figure this out. All right, we got to figure that out because that's looking a little dark there where um, five of pentacles is, you know, lack or loss. Tell me a little bit more. Why is that in the outcome? Why is that in the outcome? This might have to do with a marriage or a commitment, okay? And it might involve a feminine energy here, a mother, mama bear, okay? Oh, wow. Things not growing and evolving, things not changing, things not thriving, things not being healthy within a family. And for that reason, uh, somebody's feeling alone or at a loss, okay? But you know what? You have spirit here with that Ace of Cups saying it's time to heal this, all right? Heal what? What needs to get healed? What needs to get healed for cancer? I mean, I'm getting a stifled energy, um, and it might be because somebody was sneaking around. Somebody was being sneaky, all right? Uh, somebody was being a trickster. But I see that the way to heal this is through working on it. Yeah, I do feel that there was a lot, a lot of conflict. And I do see it's in the past. Um, somebody had, had to bring that to an end, and it's possibly, yes, a feminine energy. Um where it's like we're not going back to that okay why are there delays there might be delays because you've got to pour yourself into healing something you're going to have to work on something and yeah i do think in the outcome it's going to cost it's going to cost it's i'm hearing like it's an investment okay it's positive uh but it's almost like a no pain no gain type of thing is what i'm getting out of this all right that there are choices and options but nothing is for free okay and it might have to do with children and loyalty issues might also have to do with a new beginning with a friend or a companion, okay? Okay, wow. So, you know, you got a lot of um, <clears throat> options coming up for you. And it has to do with, yes, possibly home, family, sense of belonging, property matter. And there's a woman, there's, there's, there's two women all over this, okay? <laughs> that might be the same woman, but it also might be, you know, more than one. And for some of you, like, I, it, you know, if this is about, a, a, you know, a romantic reading for some of you, maybe somebody's going back to an ex. Uh, for others of you, this might be a family dynamic where, you know, there's a mother and a daughter, or there's two daughters, or something to that effect. But... Let's see what advice we can get for you. I do see things are going to change positively, or at least there's an opportunity to do that. But, you know, it's going to take some work and some sacrifice and some investment. Skunk, know your worth is the advice and at the foundation. There's, <laughs> look at that coyote. Reminds me of that fox that came out earlier. Um, trust in divine detour. So I'm going back to that. That three of wands in reverse where um, it looks like it's a delay or things not moving forward the way that you want, yet it's what needs to happen or it's, it's for a divine purpose and plan. So don't lose heart over that if things don't progress quite as quickly or easily as you hope. Um, devil's in the details is what I'm hearing. I, <laughs> I hope this blesses you.